Hello beautiful angels, it's your teacher Anansieta. I am great, I am okay, I hope you're okay too. Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. Today we want to discuss something else. We've been talking about the colors, the shapes, the sizes, how big things are, how beautiful they are, how small they are, which one falls where, but today we want to talk about something different. I have two pupils here. Can you see the pupils here? I believe these are grade one pupils. Ah, they look like grade ones. Huh? How many are they? One, two. Uh -huh. Let's look on the other side. How many kids do you have on this side? I have one, two, three, four, five. Why are you talking about numbers when you want to compare with the two things? What can you say about these kids and those kids? These ones are more than the two kids on the other side. So today you want to talk about more than equal to. More than equal to. More than equal to. If you're seeing me by the show of hands, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your fingers, are you doing your fingers? Yes. Let's look at the fingers on the right hand and the fingers on the left hand. Let's count all of them and see how many they are. You see, on the right hand we have one, two, three, four, five. What about the left hand? Let me see. Show me your left hand. Anybody show me your left hand. If you're seated like this, your left hand is on this side. And if you're facing the way that he is facing, your left hand is on this side. So I have one, two, three, four, and five. So what can you say about the two hands? What can you say about the fingers? We are saying the fingers on the right hand are the same as the fingers on the left hand. So what can you say? The fingers on the right hand are equal to the fingers on the left hand. Class, what can you say? The fingers on the right hand are equal to the fingers on the left hand. So today we have a variety of things we want to compare here. We have a variety of things you want to compare here. Look at my yellow play items and you tell me what can you say about this yellow play items. When you compare these yellow play items mm -hmm. and these blue play items, when you compare these yellow play items, they're here, and the blue ones, someone give me a sentence, make a sentence using these items. What can you say about these two items? What can you say about the two items? Someone give me a good sentence using the word more than or equal to. What can you say? Let's count first. The play items, the yellow play items, how many are they? One, two, three, four. What about the blue ones? We count one, all of us. Two, mm -hmm. continue. Three, again. Four, five. So what can you say about the yellow items and the blue items? Sentence, yes. So our sentence will say that the blue items are more than the yellow items are more than the yellow items. Class, what can you say about the blue items and the yellow items? The blue items are more than the yellow items. Why? Because when you count the yellow items are four, and when you count the blue ones are five, that one automatically makes the blue items more than the yellow items. This is the blue, yellow. So we are talking about more than. Our main word is more than. Now we want to compare 
these green items here. We are talking about green items and the yellow, the red items. Someone should be thinking of a sentence using the green items and the yellow items and the red items, I mean. The green items and the red items. Someone to give me a sentence about these items. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's count the green items. Are you seeing the green items? Are we together, all of us? Yes. We have one. Mm -hmm. Can we continue? Two. Yeah. Three. Then the red items. One. Two. Three. So can someone give me a clear sentence on how you can compare the two? What can you say about the green items and the red items? For me, the green items, the green items are same, are equal to, are equal to the red items. Class, what can you say about the green items? The green items. How many are they? Three. The red items. How many are they? Three. So, sir, if I have to put a sentence about the green items and the red items, the green items are equal to. The word is equal to. The red items. The green items are equal to the red items. Do you know in life there are things that cannot be used one? You must use them together. They appear in pairs. Do you know that? For example, the shoes. Can you put on one shoe? Assume the teacher has removed a shoe and today he comes to class with one shoe. What can you say about the teacher? The teacher has only one shoe. Is it possible? No. So when you look at things like shoes, like socks, we need to put them in pairs. That's why we'll say the socks are the same as the shoes because I cannot put on one socks and I put on two shoes. I'll put on two socks and I'll put on two shoes. So we will say the green items are equal to the red items because the number of the green items are the same as the number of the red items. Now, um, I also have other letters here. Oh, our yellow item has just fallen down. Oh, let's put it back. So we are saying, look at this, I have the blue letters here, this is the blue letter, it might fall down, let's just improvise it the other way around, uh -huh. so this blue letter, what can you say about it? And then I also have another one here, like this. Still blue letter, a different blue, of course. We have the sky blue. Then we have a, a different one that is O. Oh, what can someone say about these two groups of things? So next time when we meet, I want to find out a sentence about the two groups of items when we meet in the next class. But of course, you maintain the word more than equal to. If they're equal to, tell me, teacher, the blue items are equal to the yellow items. If the blue items are more than, make sure you also use the word, the blue items are more than the yellow items. And anytime we walk around the house, find out there are things that cannot be used on, on their own. For example, a spoon will always have a cup or a plate. We can have a chair and a table. So we're talking about things that can be you fall in the same group. They're always the same, equal to each other. If you're having two people, two people in class, of course you'll have two desks in class. One cannot stand and the other one cannot sit. So we have come to the end of our lesson and we wanna appreciate any, everybody who participated in this lesson and especially our guardians for the support they've given us during the lesson of counting more than and 
equal to. Have a nice day. I wish you all the best.